Howdy music lovers, my name is Noam. You might know me as Painless Parker. If not, check my music out right over here. Anyway, I love folk music and I really wanted to learn how to play old style Clawhammer banjo. I couldn't afford one though, so I decided to make my own. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my first ever homemade instrument. A tin can banjo with the body of an old olive oil tin. I used up all the olive oil before I got to use it, but I think it was worth it in the end. The neck is made of poplar. Got a 1x4 at Lowe's and uh, shaped it down to size. I used a scarf joint over here to get that angled headstock. The tailpiece, made with an old bent fork. This is a trick I got from uh, Mr. Zeke Leonard of Syracuse. Check out his instruments as well, they're very cool. Bit of advice along the way from Mr. Flatfoot Johnny. Check out his instruments, they're gorgeous. Uh, initially, when I built this thing, I didn't have any fingerboard on it and the action was way too high. So I ended up taking this 8th inch piece of cherry I had lying around and gluing it on top with Gorilla Glue and then shaping it down to fit the neck. We drilling the hole for the 5th string peg over here. Now it has this lovely red fingerboard, painted fret markers on with a sharpie and then used a rubber stamp to get these nice little uh, position markers down the line instead of fancy inlay which I don't know how to do. Tuners I bought online, as well as the bushings for them, the bridge, I uh, bought a blank and shaped it. Same thing for the nut over here. Originally the nut was too high, then I put the neck piece on, then it was too low, so I actually used uh, two little matches over here with cut off heads to raise it back up to the right height. Now if I need to lower it a little bit, I can shave those, get it to sit just right. So the tuners and the blank for the nut and bridge came from CB Giddy. Great supplies for cigar box guitars and such. And as you can hear, the result actually sounds like a banjo, which is pretty exciting. Good resist. Alana Baker. All in all, this was pretty fun. It took me a few months working on and off to put this whole thing together. The only power tools I used were a Dremel and a ported drill. A lot of this stuff involved using uh, chisels and planes and gouges and stuff like that. Did a lot of hand tool work. I learned a lot about using a block plane and uh, spoke shave, things like that. Draw knife for parts of the neck. It's a lot of fun, and I'd recommend it to anybody. See you at the next gig.